You're watching CRIM 2 News at 6. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. We have an update for you now on an out of control turkey situation in Mead. Back in December, we introduced you to the residents of the Shenandoah Forest Park mobile home community. So they were dealing with a turkey takeover. This is no exaggeration. The wild turkey population was getting out of hand there. And people said those turkeys were leaving behind a huge mesh and damaging their property. So after we ran the story, Washington's Department of Fish and Wildlife said it would try to help. So today, Creme 2's Alexa Block checked back in. When you live in the inland northwest, you're close to nature, and many of us appreciate that. But too much wildlife, too close to home, isn't the best thing. And the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife do what they can to help. You might remember these guys, the fearless feathered residents of the Shenandoah Forest Park mobile home community. The wild turkeys had made themselves quite at home. At some point, there was about 200 birds on the property. Neighbors said they damaged homes with their pecking, but the biggest problem was they make a mess everywhere, staining the concrete and decks. Well, according to the property manager, things have gotten a lot better. The manager says a wildlife officer tracked, trapped, and relocated dozens of turkeys, cutting down the population by close to half. They stopped when the spring hunting season kicked off. The manager was told they probably won't be able to get rid of all the turkeys, but for now, it's a start. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife encourage people to avoid feeding wild animals. They say that this can make animals more comfortable around humans, and things could get out of hand and they could want to move in. Alexa Block, Creme 2 News.